All right, let's uh, see a demo for our flipped classroom uh, exercise on intents and activities. Uh, an activity in Android is um, a bunch of code that is in control of the screen all at once. It's not the best definition, but let's see if we can't do better as uh, the demo progresses. So. As you might have noticed in this uh, uh, course, we're gonna we're obsessed with games because that's all phones are good for now. But we all like games, and uh, games are a good way to learn programming. So uh, we're doing a game here. So we start out on this uh, screen. I'm gonna let's say well no whatever we'll leave that. Uh, we start on this this screen, which is the high score screen, and this is one activity. And this activity is in charge of the entire screen. And so it's got this layout of high scores. So, you know, yeah, Visco kids. All right, and then we're gonna put our name in here. And uh, for reasons that will become uh, apparent, I am going to put in this somewhat odd name that starts with the string H-I-N-T uh, for reasons that I hope will become apparent. Okay, we are now brought, oh, look at that. We are now brought to this screen, guess the number. So this is a pretty exciting game where you get to guess a number between zero and 100. And it keeps track of how many guesses you have made. And uh, it gives you some points based on that, based on a ridiculously complicated scoring metric that the TA who originally programmed this came up with and I, I simplified and but didn't get rid of just because I just thought it was so insane. So it starts out at a thousand and it goes down according to this complicated algorithm that is far too complicated uh, for the our purposes. But anyway, so uh, guess guess forty five. So I, I made the guess. It says it's too low. That's a toast. So that's a message that. Um, comes up on your screen temporarily. Um, now it says guess is one, and it says the max score that's possible is 985. Why 985? As I was saying, I don't know. Um, so I guess, but I guess 45 or something. Oh, we know what the number is, right? We saw it in the beginning, but let's guess 60. I'm going to dismiss the soft keyboard because uh, it gets in the way of the toast. I hit guess. Oh, that's still too low. Um, now I've guessed two and my, my max score is going down. So you understand now the dynamics, uh, the guesses go up, the max score goes down. Eventually you find the right number, which uh, I believe in this case was 96. It is correct. That's awesome. So then you notice two things happened. One, the toast came up. Two, there was a slight delay. And then three, that activity exited or finished and brought us back to this activity where we have our high score, which now has Hintorama at 970. Very exciting for Hintorama. Surely this is the highlight of its short but meaningful life. Um, you know, <laughs> if I put some other, I don't know where that came from. If I put in some other name here, I don't get that helpful message in the beginning. And so now I need to do the hard work of uh, guessing 34 is too low. Uh, uh, sort of binary search my way through. Linearly search my way through. And uh, yeah, Flint didn't do as well as Hintorama. And you know, why is this 820? That's, those are those are just some of the questions in life. You know, why am I scored the way I am? What does it all mean? All right, anyway, uh, that should be enough uh, to get you going for this uh, flipped classroom activity. Guess the number.